Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maria. I am so excited to finally be filming a video. It's been a minute since I said I was going to start filming videos and um, it didn't happen. I It's been a little over two months um, since I graduated college and honestly post-grad life has been crazy i have been really busy um and i'm currently transitioning into a full-time position so it's kind of crazy um but here i am i'm finally gonna record a video i actually had something else planned for my first makeup video but i decided that i was just gonna do it you know and see um where i go from here um so yeah thank you so much for tuning into my video and i hope that this video is of your taste um que les guste so first of all i just want to say that i started i want to do makeup because you know every time that i go to the store or whatever or a party like all of like the older señoras you know that um don't really know how to do their makeup ask me um about my makeup so i was just like you know i come from a mexican household where um my mom does not wear like a full face of makeup my tia does not wear a full face of makeup my grandma has had her makeup done like once probably and it wasn't even a full face so you know in my family makeup was never really a thing which is why i probably love it um so i'm gonna do my channel um i'm not saying that i'm like a crazy professional makeup artist but you know um this is what i want to do and i would like to try it out so here is my first video so if you're interested in makeup and if you like makeup then i suggest that you keep on watching and i would have really appreciate it if you do and if you know just a quick little warning If you're a girl that criticizes other girls for wearing a lot of makeup or that tell people that they look different with makeup, then this is not the video for you because I'm going to look different than what I look right now at the end of the video. And that's the point of makeup, honey. Like it is to look different because I ain't spending all of this money to look the same. Obviously, if I want to look the same, I would not wear makeup so you know makeup's not looking different is not something bad but i know some girls do turn it into um it's bad i have something on my shirt it's bad to look different with makeup which i don't think it's bad to look different with makeup but you know cada quien tiene sus gustos so i'm gonna get started with my first video so here we go so the first thing that I do um, is I do my eyebrows and for that I take the ColourPop E6 brush which is just this thin angled brush. So I take the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade in the shade Ebony which as you could see I have used a lot. I'm to start my eyebrows now and I'll be right back once they're all done. Okay, so now that I have my eyebrows done, um, my eyebrows is something that I struggle with a lot, but, you know, thankfully, no, I, um, a makeup look that is like your eyebrows have to look a certain way because we all have our eyebrows a different shape. Um, but, you know, this is pretty much what works out for me. It looks just, they look all right, I guess. So now I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes for my um eyeshadow and i use the maybelline master prime this is actually the third time that i use this and i really really like it um so what i do with this or with any other primer take i didn't even show it but it's just a random flat brush and i use this to blend in i go ahead and give that a few seconds and just dab on with a damp beauty blender because go over anything with a damp beauty blender it just really absorbs any excess product that you may have on your eyes or on your face that you don't really want there but let's get going so i if i'm completely honest i didn't really plan what i'm gonna do what type of eye look i'm gonna do for this video but i'm thinking i'm just gonna go with like something that i would just wear anywhere not just exactly 
to go to the baile because I have a different foundation routine when I'm going to the baile. Something that's going to um, last the whole night um, all the way until, you know, the madrugada. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and go in with the Morphe 350 palette. And I'm going to go in with the first shade in the third row. So I'm going to go ahead and just take that color right into my crease. And make sure that it blends in there. And I'm doing this with the Sigma E35. So I'm going to go ahead and blend this color all over. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to my other eye. Like I said, I have no idea where I'm going with this, but we are going to make it happen. So I'm just packing on this color into the crease. I have this color blended on both eyes. And now I'm going to go in with a Morphe 441 brush. And it's the second row. So it's this color right here on the 350 palette by Morphe. And I'm just going to go ahead and dust that off. And I'm going to take this on the outer corner. And I'm going to go ahead and just spread it on out. I'm going to, obviously I'm blending it on the outer corner, but I'm also working it a little bit into the crease. And this is honestly just how I do my makeup. I'm not saying that this is the way to do your makeup. You know, if you already have your own technique that you're like, you know, swear by and you love, then just keep doing what you're doing and whatever makes you feel beautiful. You know, if wearing no makeup makes you feel beautiful, then, um, you know, that's okay. You don't have to wear makeup. I honestly just love wearing makeup. I just love the a lot of people are like girls that wear this are fake girls that wear that are fake but you know what um it's my face so also the other thing that i hate is when people say that wearing a lot of makeup is going to get you all quita and arrugada but you know i don't you know i'd rather just be um, viejita and arrugada, but know that when I was younger, I truly enjoyed what I liked and not try to be all, you know, I don't even know how to explain it, but I mean, I'm not going to be, my face is not going to look this smooth ever again, ever. So... Now with this same, um, morphe m441 i love this brush i am gonna go ahead and take the fourth color on the third row which is this darker brown shade i absolutely love this color and i'm just gonna go ahead and take that in the outer corner only and honestly if you see that if you see that you're getting like all of this excess um, eyeshadow in the bottom and you're worried that it looks a little bit crazy, honestly don't be because we're going to get rid of that by using a makeup wipe or anything that you use to remove your makeup. I know some people like to use baby wipes or just anything else. Okay, so if you guys hear weird noises, I opened my window because we're making a salsa and it was just you know making me cough so i apologize for those noises that you may hear but you know us mexicans be making these hot ass salsas almost done i'm laughing because i could hear my brother parando el paletero being like paletero i have how i want my eyes to look that's that's just how i want them to look i am now gonna take um my color pop concealer in the shade golden 40 and i'm just gonna go ahead and apply some of this concealer with this baramona brush i actually got this in an 
Ipsy package a while back and I just use it. So I'm not necessarily going to cut the crease. Um, I'm just going to add... I just like to add the concealer because I feel like it just makes any eyeshadow that you have all over the moon stand out more. concealer set and where I want it to be I'm going to take this Sigma E55 brush it's a little beat up as you could see and I'm gonna go back into the Morphe um, 350 palette and I'm gonna go into this um, matte white well not it's not even white it's like a nude or like beige beige shade and I'm gonna use that to set the concealer so now I'm going to repeat the same step on the other eye. So I'm going to go ahead and go in with the um, ColourPop E9 again. And again, I'm taking in the corners the fourth color on the Morphe 350 palette. That one dark brownish color that I was using in the outer corner. And I'm doing that in order to just, you know, intensify the outer corner. Okay, I think that they look pretty even now. And I am going to take the squid eyeshadow glitter and this is by Stila and this is in the shade Rose um, Rose Gold Retro. So now I'm going to take this and I'm going to just use it to intensify my lid. I bow and I'm going to use that small, the small shading brush kind of just to line out where I want the liquid shadow on. Gonna go ahead and do the same thing to the other side. So now that I have it where I want it to be, I'm gonna go in with that ColourPop E9 again, just to make sure that the outer corner is still blended out. Okay. So I'm going to allow 5 to 10 seconds for the Stila eyeshadow to set and dry down. And I'm going to go in with this one more time. So while I waited for the Stila um, first coat to dry down, I actually went ahead and cleaned all of the X's. Um, and as you could see, it's much, much more intense now than it was before. So now that I'm all done with my eyeshadow, I'm going to go ahead and do my, my winged eyeliner with the Wet n Wild Mega Liner. This is a really affordable um, matte eyeliner. I personally really like this, so I'm going to go ahead and just do my eyeliner. Okay, so I finally finished my eyeliner and I also popped on some lashes. Um, these are the Lily Lashes in the Style Miami. So this is how the box looks and you could, I'm going to link everything that I used in this video down below. So if you guys are interested, in, you'll be able to see the link and you'll be able to see the prices before actually um, trying to buy anything but i am gonna say lily lashes retail for 29.99 each pair but honestly they're wonderful they're so worth it i love them okay so now that i'm done with my eyes i'm gonna go ahead and finish my this makeup look i'm gonna go in with the bobby brown um vitamin enriched primer so i'm gonna go ahead and take that on the beauty blender and it looks something like this and i'm gonna go ahead and dab it all over. and the reason why i'm going in with this um with this primer is because right now i'm having a lot of problems as you could probably see with acne 
and I'm actually experiencing a lot of dryness which is definitely not normal for my skin type because I am a very oily person. Um, I have very oily skin so this is definitely not normal for my skin to be experiencing any dryness. So um, I actually love the Bobbi Brown primer just because I feel like even though it doesn't say that it's supposed to be mattifying or you know blur out your pores honestly it does a really good job in keeping your face moisturized and keeping your foundation in place it is a bit pricey I don't re actually remember how much I paid for it but I'll go ahead and link it down below in the description box as well and you guys could um, do a little research and see if it would be something for your face but Honestly, I have oily face and it works amazing. So I'm pretty sure that for someone who has dry skin, it would work even better because it's very moisturizing and it's really, 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 really soothing to the skin. So I actually recommend that a lot. Um, so I'm not going to be going in with the super crazy, crazy, crazy um, full coverage, extra long wearing routine today i'm just gonna go ahead and do like i would i would i don't think i would wear this as an everyday um thing because i don't really wear um like on an everyday look i wouldn't wear this much glitter like i wouldn't do this to go to work just because i feel like it's too out there um to go to work i would probably wear eyelashes but not that much glitter but um, I'll be posting a video using a foundation routine that is long wearing that will last you all day, all night, through the freaking morning if you're at the club or whatever, wherever you're at. You know, if you're out partying with your family, it will last you. But for this first video, this is not the case. So I'm going in with the Maybelline Poreless Foundation. This is the Fit Me and um this is in the shade 320 I believe. so this is gonna last you all day and half of the night probably and actually it'll last you all night but you will get oily throughout the night so it's not super matte so i'm gonna take this in a, in a sigma flat angled kabuki and what i like to do is that this doesn't have a pump but i love this foundation like it's like six dollars and honestly for six dollars it's amazing it's totally worth it and it's very, I feel like it's the perfect dupe for the um, MAC, um, flick, no, what is it, liquid, fluid, liquid, something, something. I think this is a great dupe for that. And, you know, it's the middle of summer, so this is, like, definitely not my shade anymore, um, since I've been getting a little tan. So, honestly, this is an amazing foundation. It's very full medium to full coverage and it does a really really good job and just i don't know it's just amazing like i feel like this is like a good if you're if you're on a budget and you need to um buy a foundation but you're not wanting to spend like 40 30 40 50 bucks for a foundation this is definitely way, the way to go i actually discovered this, this foundation in a time in my college life um where i was broke and i was on a budget i discovered this foundation and i am so happy that i did it's been a lifesaver so many times and it's a really good everyday foundation and the only problem with it right now is that as you could see i'm getting a little tanned so this is definitely starting to look not like my shade but it's good we're gonna make it work and also i just want to say that as you could probably already see like my eyeliner is not perfect and it doesn't have to be like if you're doing if you're trying to do your makeup or if you're trying to learn how to do your makeup or if you're just trying to you know just wear makeup in general but the desanimas because you see that your stuff is not coming out the way you want it to honestly don't like makeup is a learning process like i do my makeup sometimes and i just really don't like it but you know what is a learning process and you shouldn't be 
ashamed of how you do your makeup if anything you should be proud because this is something that you're creating for yourself and that you're comfortable wearing you know like just be proud of whatever if, if your makeup skills are like at zero or at a hundred it doesn't matter like my makeup skills are not even up there and i just love it because you know i look at myself in the mirror and i'm like wow i created this you know so i, I really like it so i'm gonna actually try the the super stay by maybelline multi-use foundation stick and i'm actually gonna try this on top of this foundation i've never actually used this but i'm gonna go ahead and try it So unfortunately my camera died and I'm going to be finishing off this video by recording with my iPhone. So I'm sorry for the quality change as I finish off this video. Obviously recording on a camera and recording on a phone is not the same thing. And I'm pretty sure that you could notice the difference in the quality. But I actually am in a bit of a hurry and I have to go. Um, so that's why I'm, I, don't, I didn't want to wait to charge my camera and you know start all over again and then come back you know i just want to make sure that i finish this video like as soon as i can so i'm just gonna uh, continue where i left off which is where i mentioned the super stay foundation by maybelline i honestly don't think that this is worth it um it was like eight dollars and it has that much product like i don't think that it's worth it i wouldn't be buying it again it's definitely not like crazy full coverage like it's buildable it's definitely buildable and the coverage could definitely be there but it's just not there like it really like i don't know i'm just not feeling this foundation and i'll i'm gonna actually be packing more but let me i'm gonna try blending it with a brush now because i don't know like the coverage is not there and maybe i should have not chosen to use it today as I'm doing my first video, but honestly, me dio la curiosidad de saber, like, does it work, does it not work, and I decided to use it out of impulse, but now I'm like, girl, it's not, it's not good coverage, so you should have not done that, but anyways, um, it's not like bad i feel like it's more of an everyday my issue with it it's that for the price that you're paying eight dollars or nine i don't even know i'll go ahead and link it down below but this price is too much for the product that you're getting i feel that instead of buying that i rather just go out and buy this one which is much more inexpensive and i'm gonna go ahead and layer this one actually because i just feel like this coverage is just not there like it's not even blending like what is this like it's not even blending like what the hell but anyways you know the lejos se mira bien but up close is like nope this is a big no no for me i'm i i won't be purchasing this I'll probably be using this to clean up my my eyebrows when I do them, to use it as a concealer when I use them. I don't want, I'm not going to go, you know what, I'm not going to go in with any concealer today just because I feel like I want to see how the foundation wears, how mixing these two foundations wears off without any concealer and to see how long does it take for it to crack you know on underneath my eyes just by itself just because i feel like i want to see how this looks for an everyday wear just without concealer like to go to work or just to go you know for my everyday life i'm gonna go ahead and test this foundation stick um do you know just take advantage of the fact that i already used it and that i'm already wearing it might as well so now I'm going to go ahead and go in with some bronzer. I'm going to take the NYX bronzer in the shade 03. And I'm going to take that on a small contour brush by Sigma. And ya se le están borrando los números, so I don't even know what number that is. I think it's F85 or F05. But I'm going to go ahead and take some bronzer on here.
And as you could see, I have a spot. I don't know if you could see it, but there's a spot right here where my skin is not picking up that foundation. That's honestly normal for my skin. I always have that one spot and both um, side of my cheeks that it really doesn't even pick up the makeup. It sucks. So I always have that spot. Okay, so I'm actually really liking the finish. It's like definitely not full coverage. It's more like an everyday thing. I'm just not liking that it doesn't blend on this part of my forehead. It's just not blending. Um, so anyways, I'm going to move, go ahead and move on with the video just to finish off. Um, so now that I have um, all of my bronzer and foundation on, I'm going to go ahead and take some airspun powder. And I'm going to go ahead and set my makeup just because I want to make sure that even though I don't want it to last for hours I want it to last um, for a few hours and then also I apologize for all of the background noise but my mom is home from work you know so she's like all talking to my brother asking him what he wants to eat so okay so that's it I'm just gonna go ahead and set it just a little bit because now I'm going to go ahead and do my lips and for my lips I'm going to go ahead and take the Italia lip liner in the shade Cabaret. Okay, so now that I have the Italia lip liner once again in the shade Cabaret, I'm going to go ahead and take the Vive Cosmetics lipstick in the shade Corazon. This is a beautiful color. I absolutely love their lipsticks. If you have not checked out Go ahead and go to the description box. I'm going to be linking their um, page so you could go. Honestly, I 150% recommend to buy their lipsticks, both the Cremosa and the Matte Liquid Lipsticks. They're both amazing. These are a little bit... This definitely will last you all day, but it's not matte. It's not a matte finish. But honestly, I'm, it's so bomb that I'm okay with not having a matte lip on. <laughs> So there we have the Cremosa Lip from Vive Cosmetics in the shade Corazon. Honestly, it's beautiful. I love this. And... Go ahead and take my bronzer brush and go over my face just to warm it up a little more. Now for the very last step to this video, I'm going to take my... Rose Water by Mario Badescu, and I'm going to go ahead and set my face. So now I'm going to give this a few minutes, and I'm going to let it dry down. So we've reached the end of my video. Thank you so much for watching this video, which is my first makeup video ever. So I'm so sorry that I ended the, the video so abruptly and so weird and so crazy. But I actually have to go and leave my house now unexpectedly. You know, um, my fiance is picking me up and we're going to go somewhere. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. And thank you to everyone who subscribed to my channel. And if you are not yet subscribed, please go ahead and hit, hit the subscribe button down below. And also, at this moment, I have 67 subscribers, which I am extremely thankful for thank you so much you guys thank you so much for subscribing to my channel however when i do reach 200 subscribers i'm gonna go ahead and do a giveaway on my channel so um go ahead and um subscribe to my channel and let your friends know to subscribe as well and also i'm gonna leave my instagram um link down below just in case any of you guys want to follow me on instagram so thank you so much again once again for thank you so much once again for um watching my video subscribing to my channel if you have any recommendations or any video suggestions um please go ahead and leave everything in the comments down below and i'll go ahead and make sure to be able to film anything that you guys ask for or read your comments um thank you so much for watching this video once again i hope that you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys on my next video Bye bye